What's up guys, it's me again, Crushed Pixel. So as of lately, I've been getting back into command blocking a bit and I have created a concept which may be useful for some map makers that create a mini game or similar. And in fact, this concept will be used in uh, some of my future videos, or at least I hope so. And this is a mechanism which allows you to give every player on a server a unique ID. So let me just demonstrate this. Um, as you can see in the sidebar we have a score of ID and when I spawn new entities, I've made this with entities but later I'm going to show you how, how you can uh, only give IDs to players, um, every new unique entity will get the next ID. This of course works with uh, any type of entity but as I mentioned um, you can make this only apply to players as well. So this is really simple. I made this in 1.8, but of course you can recreate it in 1.9 as well. This is just a full clock. And here we have um, exactly one objective, which is the dummy objective ID. And the first command is to add um, an ID score of zero to every player, which means that uh, it is being set to zero instead of having no value once a player newly joins. So when a new player joins, he has an ID score of zero. Um, Next, we have an execute command at one player, or entity in this case, um, who has an ID score of zero. And this player is going to um, add one to the ID score of the dummy player max ID. And this is just a tracking variable, which we have uh, to keep track of the highest ID value that is present in the world. And finally, um, we just set the entity, um, the score of the entity who has an ID score of zero, um, we set their ID score to the same value that the maximum ID has. So whenever there is an entity or a player with uh, an ID score of zero, which means it has been newly spawned, the max ID score is going to be incremented and this max ID score is going to be applied to that player. And yeah, this is really simple and of course it works uh, when the system is like uh, newly uh, started when there are multiple entities on the server. So let me just do uh, a reset command and start this. As you can see, um, they are all going to be applied in idea, uh, just like in a queue. So only one at once, so there are not multiple IDs. So I've left like all of the commands in the video description. Make sure to leave a thumbs up if you enjoyed this video. And I hope this little trick was useful to you. See you then. Bye. <laughs> Murderer. Murderer. Murderer.